All right, we are going to uh, take this footing out right here. There's one on each side, and this is where the uh, the uh, motor sits in. The two the two metal things sit into the footing. So I'm going to take these off and just see if there's any way I can modify these. I'm going to take them off really slowly so that I don't strip anything. There's one because. On well, these kayaks, you gotta try to find replacement bolts, bolts, and that's pretty tough. I just saw a washer drop out, and I want to make sure that I don't lose that washer. Um, so, all right. So, I've got the two washers and the footing here. I'm gonna see what I can do to modify this a little bit. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys what I just got. I solved my problem. Remember these things? These are the uh, foots for the um, motor to rest in into this spot right here. And uh, we've been talking about that. And uh, this is the old one. Okay. And uh, I was trying to devise a, a, a plan to be able to drill a hole right here or something and put some kind of a pin to lock that foot in or the little peg that goes into there right here and I looked into the whole situation and I found out that Old Town um, the maker of my kayak makes one of these with the pin the new one Looks virtually the same, right? The difference is, and I'll hold them both up here. Uh, the difference is, right here, it's got this little cutout that allows for this little metal tab, which I'll show you in a minute, to uh, to rest in. Okay. There's the pin. This is the little mount. So basically, here's your foot. Um, basically this thing here will mount right onto that top like that so the bolt bolt will lock it down like that and then this pin once you get your foots in there or your little pegs in there this will slide right down into that hole and you just kind of push it down and that will lock that foot or that peg keep calling it a foot it'll lock the the uh, little peg inside there so that it won't be able to come out and then when you want to take the motor out, you just pull that out. You hear my... I need to keep these screws here because uh, the new footings do not come with these screws. So keep these screws and the little washers, okay? Alright, so now I've got my new one. Make sure you put this in on the right side because the little things have to be a little well you'll know the right side but the one that's sealed off is this side and that needs to go on the outside the open side needs to go on the inside so let's get every little bit of dirt out of here I need to put the washer underneath here so I'm gonna go ahead and stick the bolt through go ahead and stick the large bolt through on the back one putting the washer the lighting I'm sure is terrible right here sorry like I said I don't have this set up, but I put the big bolt through, and I'm going to go ahead and, actually i got to put the, the other one through as well, because i got to set them both down in there, so this calls for a little coordination, but once I get it down there, it should be alright, uh, yeah, okay, got them there. It's very hard to film this, so you're just going to have to trust me when I say I'm getting it in there. Take this off. Show you what we got here. So, this little metal tab is going to stay in there the whole time. And this pin just basically hangs out like that. Okay? Hopefully you can see that. And uh, so the, foot, the footings go in the same exact way. And so when I put the, the motor in, which I'm going to do in a minute after I get the other one here installed, but uh, then I'm going to stick these pins in. I hope this is going to be easy. It looks like it 
looks like it's gonna be pretty simple and it looks like they're gonna stay all right and uh, so we're got that I got the lock off I've got the the foots the pegs inside the footings and I'm just gonna raise this thing up and this little if you can see this little kickstand right here it comes up it's spring-loaded yeah. but let me pull you guys up over here a little bit and we are doing everything really low budget here on the filming so anyhow the what happened was when you were coming in to shore on your boat um, you would rock your boat quite a bit it would rock and stuff and this thing would this motor would inevitably rock out of those footings and fall over but this thing I'm shaking this thing I mean it's solid it is absolutely solid and uh, you can see the prop is out of the water. We are done for this one. Let me know if you guys have any comments on anything that you've seen in the last 15-20 minutes, however long this video is going to be. I'd love to hear your comments and uh, anybody else who has put these new uh, footings in, I'd love to hear what you think about them. And uh, I would love to know if anybody else has figured out a situation for that kickstand. Okay. Thank you guys, and we'll talk to you later.